Well, our client, our, our, our client was in fact the, uh, the provost of the college. He and uh, the fellows uh, created a brief which was to replace what was originally the School of Mechanics with a debating chamber, additional classroom space, about 45 classrooms and two common rooms for the beaks. And a beak is what a teacher is called at Eton College. Our service and our role was initially to take part in the viability of the project and then cost planning it, taking it through the usual conserving services. And we also provided project management service at early stages, which was really for the provision of the uh, geothermal heating system. There are 12 boreholes here and we're using ground hot seas pumps uh, to cool and heat the building at various times of the year. Well, the project's principal objective was to create a debating chamber, but the architect chosen was a firm called John Simpson uh, and Partners, and they are a firm of architects who do sort of quasi-classical design, having just completed uh, the new gallery at Buckingham Palace. It meant that we ended up with a building with sort of neoclassical design, using relatively historic materials, but with a sort of modern twist to them, so we were able to mix uh, reconstructed stone and natural stone. The building project became quite complicated as the design was developed and um, certainly the contractors struggled with finding the right supply chain to carry out the work. Um, our experience in dealing with historic buildings and indeed the work we've done for the National Trust over many years meant that we were able to help the contractors source these people. Um, so the most difficult thing if you were to ask me was actually making sure we could achieve the right quality and at the right time uh, within a budget that became increasingly tight for the contractor as the market moved away from him. This is the museum attached to the main building. It forms part of the uh, uh, lecture theatre as part of the reception area. And it contains some Egyptology collections that were collected by old boys before the Second World War, and also some Colombian and Far Eastern artifacts picked up during their travels. The building finished in 2015, and the building was opened on the 10th of June by Prince Charles. Eton College and McBain's Cooper have a long history. We say our history probably goes back to the 1950s, and indeed probably before then. Um, so we are trusted by the college, I think, and the college understand that we will go the extra mile for them.